This is simply nothing and everything. Everything is nothing at all. There is nothing, no things, no solidity, no substance, no real polarity, no real duality, just simply appearances. Insubstantial, yet totally full and alive. Everything full and alive. Passion, fire, just vibrancy is all there is. Nothing right or wrong with it, nothing good or bad about it. No better or worse, more or less, and yet polarity obviously can seem to appear, but there is no substance to anything at all. This is totally boundless and free. It's radiant and vibrant and passionate, and yet it's fire and it's there's drama and and all sorts of boundless appearances which makes no sense and is without meaning or purpose, without cause or effect, without dimension or direction. It's totally, stunningly immediate, spontaneous, full-on, throbbing, thriving, flourishing and dying, all timelessly. This is total aliveness without limitation. And yet limitation can seem to appear. This is an exposure that what is, is already free. What is, is already full on. What is, is already total aliveness with no one being alive, just aliveness. There is no real consciousness. There's no real separation. The separation experience is an illusory appearance, which is not substantial either, of course. In fact, there's not even any real separation. Separation just seems to appear when there's an illusory position in a body or with a body. That's how it seems to appear energetically, a sense of someone knowing what's going on and looking for something else. A sense of direction and purpose, meaninglessly appearing as meaning and the illusion that may come about is the sense of choice and free will, autonomy, someone knowing what's happening and choosing what to do about what's happening. With a sense of going somewhere better. Or maybe even a sense of going somewhere worse. But there's always the sense of direction. So there's no real non-duality or duality to begin with, but there can seem to be an appearance of Duality, which is not real. But the dualistic dream is not just a sense of here and there, it's also the sense of now and then, inside, outside, above, below, behind and front, and journey and destination too. And all of this dualistic paradigm is exposed as totally illusory. This is totally complete already. This, the apparent freedom that's longed for is everything and and it's so immediate and wild and free and spontaneous that it could never be really found because it's everything there's nothing really separate from freedom to be finding freedom freedom doesn't find freedom freedom doesn't lose freedom either because there's already no real separation for freedom to be knowing claiming doing or relating so this is a meaningless exposure, a spouting and obviousness of the abundance of all that is, without any need for anyone to accept or to agree or disagree, to believe or disbelieve, to resonate or resist, to rebel, to misinterpret, to distort or to conceptually understand. Freedom is all-inclusive, all-embracing in a way, and yet no one is doing the embracing. There just is a totally beyond gargantuan, radical embrace of all that's appearing to happen without any significance, importance or specialness. And yet everything is wonderfully vibrant and alive. And the illusion is that someone is hearing this, but the illusion is also that someone could fall away. 
there's already no one to fall away. But apparently a resonating can seem to open, but it's not a reality because resonating is all there is already. Basking, bathing, totally absorbing the 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 everythingness that is beyond duality or polarity is everything already. So the apparent resonating when there's this totally direct, uncompromising, non-conceding, total abundance of what is, the, the complete exposure of what is, can seem to illusorily allow for an openness, a resonance. But it's sort of illusory because there's no thing for that to relate to. There's no real resonating. There's no real falling away or glimpses or whatever else is seeming to happen because what is exposed is already what is and therefore there's no process or progression to what is already there's no real change or shift because timelessness does not see change or shift it's beyond any objectification or subjectification whatsoever it's all that is so the apparent liberation or falling away that a separate individual is apparently waiting for or wanting or going after or resisting is actually everything. There's no event or experience to bring about. This is already everything. And of course, the need for something to happen, the need to know what's going on, the wanting for change, the waiting around for change, or betterment, is unconditional love too. There's nothing wrong with seeking or craving or longing. There's nothing wrong with anything. Nothing right with anything either. This boundlessness that's being exposed does not see anything right or wrong with anything that's happening. There is just unconditional love. Alexis, um, mm. yesterday, uh, this uh, there was this happening of, um, oh gosh, I don't know quite how to describe this, but, but basically there was the appearance of, of people like just being extremely, um, extremely interested in... Uh, Gosh, I don't know how to describe it. They were extremely interested in being helpful towards me, like, mm -hmm. like to a, an extreme degree. It, it was, um, and what was sort of funny about that is, like, instantly, whatever I wanted, basically, like whatever I appeared to want, they were like ahead of it in a certain way. And there was like a me, certainly a me that was tracking with that, and um, and actually in some ways it was it was agitating because it was like a a weird kind of adoration, uh, and and um, and what I felt was that they just um, they wanted to give me everything, but they also wanted what they imagined that was here that I could give them. Mm. I, I know this all sounds like a story and I don't know how to language it actually. Um, but like, and actually there was a feeling like, yeah, whatever is here, whatever is here, it's all yours, baby. <laughs> but it was like such a strange, um, it, it, to the to the me, it was like heroin, in, in a way. Like it, it unfolded, kind of the whole play of enlightenment or getting somewhere or being something. Like and and also to this, it, it was uh, I found it quite agitating and, um, yeah. And I, I'm just curious about that. Like with you all, you know, like. I, I know when there is truly the illusion is truly dissolved, that 
I'm assuming that it doesn't have that kind of impact when people are, um, I don't know how to describe the energy of it. I mean, uh, but they would just give me anything that I asked for. Like in a couple of cases, I asked for something and like, I mean, I was in a, you know, I was in a bar and asked for a drink and the person like gave me something like mega than what I asked for. And, mm -hmm. you know, that, that kind of crazy stuff. Like there was a band that was setting up and um, she she just spontaneously asked me, do do I do they can they play a song for me? Y you know, like fucking crazy nutty stuff. <laughs> so, well, well, I, I I don't really think that's got anything to do with this. It's probably <laughs> just because you're so very beautiful and charming. Oh come on, it wasn't <laughs> on Alexis. God. I know that's not it, but no. but um, I had come from something very unusual, and something seemed gone afterwards. Mm -hmm. And um, but but anyway, I mean, there was definitely a me that was kind of tra tracking with it and trying to like understand it or get away with from it or or whatever. So mm -hmm. yeah, as just uh, yeah. Anyway, it was just, I guess it was just maybe a state. I guess that's one way to think of it, is it was just a passing state. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but I, I would still love to hear you speak on people imagining that you have something. Oh, okay. Yeah, like... I don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's just unconditional love, that's all. And, and that isn't mine. There's no mine. But there's just unconditional love, yeah. Yeah, what is exposed is that there's just simply unconditional love, which no one ever owns or knows or relates to. Unconditional love is beyond separation and therefore relating altogether. And and that's all. There's just simply an exposure of that. And that is intimidating and threatening. It, it is terrifying for the dream experience that so desperately seemingly wants to cling on to uh, an illusory separate experience of knowing and relating because that feels safe and the unconditional love that is exposed by no one not owned just simply boundless is uh it's it's a, there's sort of a, a liberation and a relief a joy and a, a, a you know all of that can seem to appear to yeah but no one owns it, knows it, or does it, or relates to it. It's the end of all of that. That's the exposure that seemingly pours out of absence of anyone at all. No, no one to know, no one to claim to be absent either, obviously. Just this boundlessness. Never captured, never known, never owned. Just everything. Hi, Alexis. Hello. I would like to share something what happened to me today. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah. So I uh, I got today morning really upset. Uh, I was talking to a friend of mine and, you know, we, went, uh, we got into the argument uh, where he told me, like, all this non-duality stuff it's also not real it's just an illusion mm. and it got me so upset you mm. know and i was trying to defend it like mm. oh you don't know what you talk you know like and i i got so upset i got actually sick like mm. Mm. from my stomach like i couldn't hear it you know like i did not couldn't i didn't want to hear it 
Yeah, and this energy is just being with me since like um, he destroyed something <laughs> and I don't like it. Mm -hmm. Like something I could still hold on to, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's It sounds like non-duality perhaps has subtly become another thing that I relate to. As a yeah. as a as a, a belief or an opinion or a view or a value or a, a whatever a felt sense of the truth and then that and then that's been seemingly attacked or felt to be attacked and and that's that sort of strikes the nervous system but but there is no non-duality in a way he's right there's there's no non-duality it's not real there's no there's no duality or non-duality there's nothing to hold on to already yeah. So there's no and truth or falsity. It was so upsetting because he was the one always who would like feed me with those beautiful koans, you know, from Zen Buddhism. Mm -hmm. And we would laugh about it. And and suddenly to hearing something like this from him was just devastating for me. Like Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, there's nothing to lose or gain. Nothing to hold on to and nothing to let go of. This is everything. Pain and fear, sadness and sorrow. It's all this. Nothing to defend or offend. Just this, pain, sorrow, sadness, anger, joy, it's all freedom. So um, let me ask you, are there any doubts coming up, like in your life? Doubts, like are you doubting anything, what's happening ever? There's no doubt or certainty. Mm. There's no position to be moving from or to. There's no relating. There's no truth to be navigating or moving from. There's just as simply what's happening. There's no real message that one, there's no real message and there's nothing that one lives by. Body is doing what it's doing. There's no one in it or with it, moving by it. Yeah, you said it there. There is no truth. And I think this is what I'm fighting, you know. Yes, because in an individual experience, there may be the sense that someone else needs to get this. Yeah. But this isn't a something to be gotten, and there is no one to get what is and is not. Because the individual experience lives in relating, not just to other people, but it lives in relating to communication, such as non-duality. It relates to something that is not real. It relates to something that isn't a something called non-duality. So it thinks it's living by a message or a communication and then tries to defend it. But there is nothing that can be defended or used. This isn't a truth or a knowledge. It's not a philosophy or a belief or an opinion. It defies all definition because it's not an it in the first place. And therefore, there's nothing to prove or impress or defend or depend on. There is just this, what's happening, immediacy, with no one in it or behind it.
Yeah, I was definitely in it. <laughs> you know, I was, I was so in the emotion, like. And that's also this. That's also yeah. this. It's not a mistake or an accident. It's not a wrong move on anyone's part because no one ever really did anything. So it's what appeared to have happened, but mm -hmm. it didn't really. And it didn't go wrong or right. Yeah, that's what I told myself afterwards to calm me down a little bit. I said to myself, so what? You know, so yeah, it just happened. But, mm, so what? But also that also happened in free flow. Yeah. No one did yeah. it. And in the end, I said to myself, it didn't happen anyway. So, you know. Well, no one said that either. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, it seems to be some kind of game, like play going on here right now, you know, like. And I, and I can sense that it's all about the words. You know, as soon as you try to express it, you, you can do any good. And yet you can do any harm. <laughs> you know, it's just, yeah. There's already no one. Just unconditional love. Playing. Dancing, singing, arguing, fighting. Is all this. This is an inescapable, unnavigatable this. Alexis, when you say something like there's no doubt, there's no certainty, you're not saying that there's a you there that has no doubt and no certainty. You're not saying that, mm. right? You're, I mean, in the dream, doubt and certainty can appear for no one. Anything can appear. Like it, there aren't any rules about the appearance in this. Mm. Yeah. Doubt and certainty t seem mainly to be associated with a position relating to something else, being certain about this or doubtful about that. But of course, you know, in, in sort of day-to-day -day life, yeah, there might be doubt as to whether it's going to rain or be sunny or you know just sort of mundane apparently day-to-day -day things but but doubt as in just positionless absence and free flow and immediacy and spontaneity is a, it's it's sort of free of the polarity of doubt uncertainty sure yeah there's no one to be doubtful or certain about anything no one to know the truth or no false things there's no relationship or position already. Alexis, back in your days when Alexis was a seeker, did you ever read Carlos Castaneda at all? No. You, 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 you know of him or not at all? I don't recognize that. Uh, he was an American anthropologist who allegedly met this uh, Indian sorcerer called Don Juan. And um, it, may, it may or may not be true. But when you were talking about Carly last week, this story from one of the books sprang to mind where they're driving along a road, the long straight American road in the dark. And uh, Castaneda looks in the uh, mirror and he sees these headlights behind and he uh, he remarks to Don Juan that um, these headlights, they've been, they, they, he says this guy's been following us for miles and miles and miles and, um, you know, what, what, what's going on? And Castaneda says, well, it, it might not be a driver, it might be death following us. And uh, this goes on for some time and... Uh, Eventually, Cassidy looks in the rearview mirror and the lights are gone and he, he just remarks, oh, the uh, that driver must have turned off. And uh, Don Juan says, um, death never turns off, but sometimes she turns the headlights off. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah.
I have I have uh, heard about him, but it's a teaching. Mm. Yeah. Are you feeling okay, David? You, you look a bit. Yeah, you were just resting. I can't hear you, dear. Yeah, I, w I went for a fairly strenuous walk this morning. Oh, okay. So just resting up. Hi, Alexis. Hello. How are you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can you hear me enough? This yeah, enough? it's a little bit quiet, but it's okay. Okay, I'll come. I like to lean forward to see your lovely faces anyway, so. I come a bit closer. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I have this thought, I want to say something, but I'm afraid also to, uh, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But mm -hmm. it's like to listen to you, it's like uh, all these bricks of the wall are just breaking down. And uh, it's like every 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 um, thing is happening at the same time, um, you know, <laughs> this. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I don't know, anger and sadness and love and joy. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yes, always. I very much enjoy to to be here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to say. It's like really all at once. Good to be here. Good to be here, I said. Mm -hmm. Thanks. <laughs> At the same time, I feel this contraction. I don't know, this... Tension uh, in the body. <laughs> this holding back, you know, this, mm, <laughs> I don't know, just the tension. Yeah, story, story, story. It's funny, it's like you can't say really anything because it doesn't come close to this, what is really happening. Hmm. And yet speaking is what's apparently happening. Yeah. Just sometimes feels futile to say something at all, you know. <laughs> and and But the body like bursts. Thing from inside and look still so calm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just thank you, Alexis. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It somehow feels like, you know, there is no ground on under the feet anymore. It's like everything is just 
disappearing and it's so frightening. Mm -hmm. And all those emotions are just coming up and there is there is just nothing to hold on to anymore. Like nothing. I remember when I when I went through like realization that there is no God, it was a terror. It was it was like this body like physically felt like it's losing it all. And I thought that that's it, you know, that's that's it. But it's still there is still so so many things which are falling apart and falling off. And it seems that the body is reacting, you know, with those shakes and and mm. fear and and uh, dizziness and and it's in such an unease, you know, the yeah, lots of the time. Yes, yeah, and that is all absolutely, totally, unconditionally. This. There's no real letting go, falling away, processing, changing, shifting, merging. This is all liberation. so-called liberation apparently swallows up all ideas about liberation and yet not separate from all paths lead nowhere this is already everything and it's all, in a way, radically welcome, because no one is resisting, really, or seeking. There is boundlessness. Only boundlessness. Nothing to be purified from. Nothing to be pacified, removed, or bypassed. Or avoided. There's this story, um, and I'm going to change it a little bit, but there's a story where uh, there's royalty that is in some castle or something, and uh, everyone in the area or region gets invited to, to come and hang out and have a banquet or something. And I guess in this analogy, the royalty would be life itself. <laughs> and uh, and basically everyone's sitting around and the message is, this is freely all there is. This is freely all there is. And, um, and the folks that are gathering are, are basically like stealing things like the salt and pepper and the utensils and stuff and sticking them in their pocket. <laughs> and I feel like the me, you know, it's like a container or something like that will we'll never contain this. And there isn't any getting it right or getting it wrong because there isn't any wrong. Yeah, and there is only this, yeah. Yeah. There's nothing else other than this, so therefore there's no one to be knowing this or inside of this. There just is this. Yeah. And this perhaps appears as an illusion, saying this is not all there is. Yeah. Or I'll try and get all there is. There is only all there is. So this love that is longed for is the longing itself, the wanting, the grabbing, the chasing, the waiting, the pushing away, 
is all totality. It's all absolute freedom. It's all encompassingly everything. This everythingness is incomprehensible and indescribable, appears as anything and everything, and yet is no thing at all, insubstantial, and yet totally free and alive, spontaneous, organic, wild, and chaotic, dancing freely in and as everything, never lost or found, never revealed, never separate, really, never lost, never found, never separate, really, just everything. All that's longed for. This simple exposure is just simply pointing out what is already totally available, always and yet timeless and never separate and therefore never really available. No real invitation, no real separation for there to be anyone to know what this is or have it. It just is simply by its selfless thisness all there is dimensionless and free never obtained never surrendered this no thing unconditional love the looking for it the waiting around for it is it and yet it's nothing Much love. Thank you.